Now, an advert showing the raw and honest reality of this, which was meant to air during this year's Oscars, was recently rejected by the TV network ABC, reportedly because it was too graphic. Now, here's the advert in question. <laughs> now, we've actually had to stop it there because it has say, been... I was where is the risk? Exactly, the because... Rest, it's so powerful. And it is powerful, um, and we've had to stop it there because it has been deemed as unsuitable because it's pre-watershed. Um, now, it is, it's a very natural thing, obviously, but I suppose it's relatively graphic. We haven't really seen anything as honest as that on the TV before, but, but we, just... we have had to stop it for that reason. It's so... just the truth. I mean, mm. look, so the rest of the advert is basically what m most women do after they've had a vaginal birth. I hate to offend anyone, but they, like, <laughs> crawl to the toilet as if everything's about to fall out of their vagina <laughs> and pour water down the toilet when they're going for a wee because it's so painful because you've either got stitches or basically just because a human has come out of there and <laughs> ruined it. And you're like... <laughs> and, and, it, and the whole advert depicts that and those moments where you just feel like, I honestly don't know how I'm ever going to go to the toilet again I don't know you know you're trying to love your baby and care for your baby but also at the same time you're thinking what the heck has happened to me how am I going to do this mm -hmm. and it is I thought it actually made me really emotional yeah I need to it's because I can hear you can hear the baby crying yeah and I thought the poor girl has to deal with all of this before she can even get I was trying to see yeah. if there was anyone in the bed with her because I was thinking why is <laughs> getting up yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they, they, they conveniently <laughs> didn't light that part of the bed you, yeah. you, you watched the whole ad yes. but did it really chime with you yeah, I, I can't believe they can't show that. That could not be closer to the truth of what happens after you've given birth. I mean, there's nothing it's graphic shock, in it. It's, it? It is yeah, the it's truth. Trauma. It's yeah. really shocking because just the simple thing, like you want to wee and you go, oh no, I've got to wee. Oh. Because it's and it's so. And I think also it's really good for men and not just for women who have for your partners to see that this is. It doesn't all stop when you've had a baby. This time afterwards is so can be not for everyone, but can be very grueling. Just that getting up to the pain that you can get. I mean, I had a graze. Um, from her hair and just it was like every time it's through it was like salt being rubbed in I mean mm. I'd be crying it was so bad I was like and Guy I... the Griller I had a rubber ring yes. I sat on a great they big rubber amazing. ring for about three weeks why didn't I they think of that the, <laughs> well, the only thing that in that video that they didn't, tell you. the only thing in that video that they didn't show was the first poo like the first poo <laughs> post birth and it sounds like a funny thing but it's not it's genuinely like the most scary it. thing it is scary. ever. <laughs> you, I remember just sitting there thinking, I'm, I have to let it come out, but it has to crawl out, basically. <laughs> I, if I make one squeeze or motion, I feel like my entire insides are just going to come out. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Birth number two, else these, are, call it, yeah. these are the realities of it, and we've got to stop being offended by these incredible bodies that grow life and then push them out. No. And yet it's offensive to some people. What? Yeah. Why? I mean, I loved your story. You spoke, you watched your mother give birth, mm. and then you had a really, really good birth. We've got so far removed from what it is to be human. Women, you know, young girls would be around their mums when they were birthing or when they were breastfeeding, and all this stuff was learnt by osmosis. Ah, but now we have is... to book. And... Yeah, but the key is her mum had a good birth. So imagine maybe if your mum hadn't had a good birth and had like maybe. an emergency caesarean. Mm. Or... Yeah, yeah, that's the, true. The, it's always the thing. I think, you know, some people go, don't tell me about your birth, I don't want to know. Or some people want to know everything. But everyone's experience is different. Yeah. So yeah. it's really hard yeah. to, to kind of say, this is what's going to happen to you, because you don't yeah. know. It was no, interesting yeah. when you said there, Lisa, if only someone had told me. And it's yeah. interesting just how much we all do want to know beforehand. I kind of wanted to know the worst cases. I wanted Did to know you? the worst things that... So I thought, if I don't get to that point, I'm happy. So I wanted to know if something bad happens, how do I fix it? What, 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 you know, I, I, I'm better yeah. when I kind of knew that sort of stuff as opposed to going in completely ignorantly. But then, again, I don't think you, you ever fully know until you've gone through it. It's a fine line, like Jane through. says, somebody can tell you something that happened to them and it's not going to happen to you. Yeah. yeah. But my sister kept going on, wait for the ring of fire. Wait for the ring yeah. of fire. <laughs> she wait for that ring of fire. And so my whole labour, I was saying, was this the ring of fire? It's Is funny, when I felt that... Oh, no, that, it's the ring of fire. When I felt Did that, I thought... Oh, I'm nearly there. Because <laughs> oh, that's oh, it. Positive. One more push, and yeah. then. But yeah. I was the opposite, really. I didn't want to know anything because I thought I'll just, I'll just carry on, and whatever happens, happens, and I'll deal with it at the time instead of sort of because I know I'll go to the worst place. You know, I'll yeah. go to the worst possible situation. Yeah. 
big time, so I thought, I don't want to know. And but, I, I but just... yet you said you wish you'd known that, so with that act, I wish would you I'd like known... to know more about what happens post-birth? Definitely. And no-one told you how much it hurts when, when you go to the toilet after you've given birth. I mean, yeah. that, for me, was more traumatic than the actual birth. After yeah. I remember pains. sitting I in, in the about. toilet, after crying. Pains. All of those things. Cramps. I yeah. didn't even know you would get cramps. I just mm. thought, you know, but it's also, out. But so... the mental side of it, I do think that a massive reason why people why women suffer from postnatal depression is because you're in your head well this is how i felt anyway in my head i expect to have a baby yes i'll be sore but i'll be in this blissful baby bubble for the, for the rest of my life and when your hormones move around and change and it doesn't happen like that i do think that you it's a bit of a shock to the system and you, yeah. you i yeah. don't know yeah. and it's also about having a support network around yeah. you as well that's so yeah, important definitely. I remember um, a friend of mine beforehand saying, about day three after you have your baby, you'll just want to cry. And it's apparently something to do with when your milk is properly coming through. And she, you'll cry, and it'll not be for happiness, it won't be for sadness, you'll just cry. And I thought, that's not gonna happen. And it did happen. Yeah. It did, I just started crying. I was holding her crying. I go, I don't know why I'm crying. Yeah. But I was just holding her. I, 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 it was just this weirdest, Kind of craziness of emotions. And it is day three, isn't it? Yes. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. I remember sitting on the rug and I had a pump on one boob and I was trying yeah, to breastfeed off the other with those big knickers on, which are still my favourite <laughs> knickers. Yeah. I in found a pair in my bedside drawer. I was like, oh, maybe yeah. I'll put they them on tonight. Weirdly comfortable. <laughs> well, but, um, I've never been like that on day, on day three with that and that and that. And I knew exactly why I was crying because I suddenly realised I couldn't go to the pub anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, by day, by day three, everybody's gone. All the fuss has yeah. died down. All the flat, you know, everyone's gone. Come and have a look. Disappeared, and then you're there going. Sit now for the next eighteen years. <laughs> I left you a voice message of doom on day three. It was literally just me going. <laughs> day three. <laughs> but, I remember um, we just them. need to talk about this more, don't we? Yeah, and the here we are laughing as well. Oh, yeah. in the Even if they are born in a bubble of absolute love, it's still. A stranger. I mean, I remember sitting with the shipping forecast at three o'clock in the morning with a stranger mm -hmm. sucking my breath, mm -hmm. and that is actually the reality. <laughs> you don't have to listen to the shipping forecast. <laughs> Increasing five at times. <laughs> Showers. <laughs> That's it's why I listen to all It's quite calming, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where the stranger was on your breast. Where was my the baby? baby? <laughs> Not someone I brought back from the pub. In that, in that, in that, we have to get to know them. They're strangers. Yeah, we do, we do. Oh goodness me! Um, as we say, you see, we can, we can see humour and lots of things here on Lucy. Thanks so much, Lucy. Again, thank you. Very honest conversation.